Now let's look at one more of these, and this is the envelope detector. And the envelope detector, right again, we're going to employ diodes and capacitors. So this first part of the envelope detector, right, this is going to remove all parts of our signal that are lower than zero. So when you pass something through a rectifier, you may have done this in one of your uh, laboratory classes, right, you know that this is going to remove all those parts of the wave that are greater than zero. So if you have a wave like this, right, you can just get rid of all this part on the bottom. That's what that rectifier is going to do. Then you can see, too, the second part of this circuit and the red, right, this is an RC circuit, right? And so this RC circuit, you also probably did this in one of your early labs. You probably applied some carrier wave, some kind of wave signal, and you probably looked at the, the discharge, right? You probably you probably remember doing something like this, right? And then you probably calculated the tau, etc. So you you know how to how an RC circuit works. You know that changing this tau can affect the RC discharge and the tau is right related to your uh, R value and your C value. So an envelope detector is first going to apply a diode, remove all that stuff on the bottom. Then it's going to have a slow RC discharge circuit. And what you'll be left with is just the envelope by itself. Okay, so uh, graphically, what this does, the red part, the first, you're going to remove everything at the bottom. And then second, you're going to make a slow RC discharge so that every time your, uh, your signal, right, your original signal, which is here, every time that this came to a peak, uh, you're going to slowly discharge it. So instead of it dropping way down, you're going to let it slowly discharge using that RC circuit, and it's just going to reach uh, the peak or close to the peak of the next part of your signal. All right. So this, in the end, by applying this envelope, choosing good smart values of the RC circuit, right, you're going to be able to make something that just sort of jaggedly follows along the very top, the very envelope of the signal, and so. Again, this is going to be really cheap, right? Just a diode, capacitor, and a resistor. And you're going to get an envelope at the end, and that envelope is going to contain right, all of the same information as your message. So all you have to do is you just need to make sure that you have select uh, some smart values for your RC circuit. So you should select your RC circuit values uh, so that they are uh, somewhere in between your carrier frequency and your uh, baseband frequency. So by selecting those, you can do a, a very simple envelope demodulation of the AM signal. So again, right, there is nowhere in here. We do not have to create or introduce any coherent wave. We don't have to reproduce this cosine omega C T. And that's good because at our receiver, right, we, we started out our discussion of this topic by saying this might actually, you know, have added some extra frequency, right? That there might have been some damage that was done to this because of the, um, you know, because of the, you know, the effects that it goes through as it, it travels along the, the way, like the Doppler effect. Uh, you might also have some extra phase that, that gets added, right? And so you don't have to come up with this, right? No matter what your signal went through, no matter how many walls it bounced off of, no matter how far it traveled, no matter how much Doppler effect or time delay was added, you don't have to figure out a way to create this signal at the demodulator here, right? There's no, there's no coherent demodulation. You don't have to figure out what this, this cosine wave is going to be. Uh, you don't have to generate it again. And therefore, because you don't have to do that, you've simplified your receiver quite a bit into just diode, capacitor, resistor, inexpensive parts, and you've been able to make an envelope detector. Yes, we did this at the expense of the efficiency, right? It's not the most efficient process, but for enough receivers, if you have enough receivers that are built using these simple components, uh, overall, your system could end up uh, saving you some, some money. So thank you and I'll see you in the next set of videos.